60s when it began to integrate. The schools were integrated, you had laws to, to, that, that would change as a result of integration. And a lot of the white kids that went to the public schools, they left. And when they left, so did the funds. So you had a public school system providing public education to blacks with minimum funds. I always thought that most of our teachers had a, at least a 12-year 12, 12 high school education. Was teaching this stuff through high school. In many cases, not all of them, but in many cases. We had no other choice but to learn how to read. This was our only way out. And we were forced to read. We were forced to know how to write. Who who forced? Our families did. Because they didn't know. And we had to explain to them what the teacher told us. Because some of our parents didn't have any more than a third grade education. I went to a school right around the corner called Holy Ghost, which was a Catholic school. I went there from the fourth to the eighth grade. And that, you know, that, that right there, to be honest with you, that opened my eyes to something that I, you know, I was like, dang, you know, I was like, it opened my eyes in a way, to be honest with you, kind of like, uh, in a hurtful way, that um, the school that I was going to, Tom the Flum, wasn't, I wasn't up to par. I mean, I, I wasn't. I mean, it was like, when I got the Holy Ghost, it was like, I was behind, so far behind, I had to do the whole summer to catch up. This is how I see it. We wasn't adequately prepared as well as the, the white students to graduate from high school. Uh, as the years progressed, uh, so did uh, the greater the needs were. But then education became a business because it had lucrative contracts and they had the types of different types of funding that you had within the school system. So it, 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 it changed dramatically, I mean, it changed tremendously. Um, parenting skills changed. Now today, you, you know, it, it, laws were changed. Parents are no more accountable. They they put more accountability on the educator and they put on the on the parent themselves, which is totally two different entities there. I mean, educators are there to teach, parents are there to raise the children. You send your child to school to learn. Not to come there for us. If you gotta spend all day disciplining, how can you teach it? It's like if you come from the hood, you go to school in the hood, your friend from the hood, that's all you know. There are a lot of families who want to come back, uh, but due to the cost and the lack of facilities being available, that's really a big problem. Uh, Pre-Katrina, we had 275 Class A daycares available. As of now, we only have about 118 that are uh, readily open. You know, me having two girls, I have Ashley 13 and Alexis 9. And um, the schools was a major issue, I think, you know. If it wasn't, you know, for that, we, we probably would have returned if it wasn't for the kids. So the disconnect to me in education is the collaboration of people. Like, stop looking at a fairy tale of what you think education is. See what it is, what these kids go through every day. The sickening lunches, the lack of parental involvement, the lack of equal opportunity like okay charter school system may have these books but all these parish school kids it's not a eve it's not evenly yoked Such a city, such a city, bro. Such a city been like this as long as I've been uh, killing drugs. That's just the way it's been, that's the way it is and you know, until somebody step in and do something about it, bro, that's the way it's gonna be. We have in the New Orleans metropolitan area is the fact that we still got to do a lot of educating. The kids are not the problem. 
depend on us. The kids are not the problem. It's the adults that are the problem who have control of the funds to support education. It ain't about sugar cool. It's about being real. Even though I'm not in the classroom, I'm a teacher till I die. And I, I care about what's happening to our children because our children become adults. Every good school or great school that we have has great parental involvement. Oh, it's starting to get better. And, you know, once they start, they they redoing these schools and these different agencies are taking them over as charter schools. Once they get rolling, it'll be great. They need more social services to address the needs of these families that these kids are in. You know, now the, the Saints didn't bring New Orleans back. These kids and the, the New Orleans residents came back here. But we got to make education a priority to be number one. Education is the, is, is the foundation of their thrust to move on up into upward mobility. And then it also, an education will allow them to understand the opportunities before them. It would, and then it would teach them uh, to prepare their children uh, for, to come behind them and go right up that ladder which they have prepared. It's a change coming, bro. And then when you really, really look at it, it might be for the best, you know.